unbelievable. It's like what, 25 degrees? Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, we're getting ready for the weekend to go riding. All right. See you guys later. All right. So. Dan is hier het risico die me gaan neer. So we are in uh Halkida. We are in Halkida uh, city for coffee. And uh, we're gonna go up the mountain. Um, probably in about 10-15 minutes we're gonna be on uh, on the side of the mountain, we're going to go through the forest. Uh, we came to the island to support the, uh, the local community so they can see us and, you know, feel a little better because we have the, uh, the bushfires in, uh, in the summer. So a big part of the forest was burned. So, you know, most of the, uh, the biker clubs and the motorcycle clubs in the, in the country, they have came to the North uh, Avia. E-A-V-I, A-E-V-I-A, sorry, Iceland, uh, for support, you know. And uh, we keep coming, uh, there's a lot of groups for motorcycles in, in Greece. So, see you in a minute. I love that because there's a lot of, uh, you know, older riders here. Uh, probably around 70 and more. And it's amazing that, you know, people riding. I mean, we are, believe it or not, close to 60. We are in the late 50s. So, uh, when I see people, uh, you know, riding in an old age, I just, you know, I'm proud of them, including us. And that's, uh, that's really good. We get ready to roll. Uh, okay, so we got off the city and we start going up the mountain. Uh, these are olive trees left and right you see right now so this is where the fun starts look at that on the left yeah we have these boys too everybody comes here for the terms because the, um, on, the you know, on the mountain the asphalt is really good so everybody comes here to enjoy the terms So soon we're gonna, you know, go a little bit up front because uh, not everybody is familiar with uh, experience with uh, terms. Uh, so we can, you know, enjoy a little bit. But uh, it's a beautiful ride. Going to a town, a village called Limni Lake in English. Probably we're going to go to the taverna there, you know, in, uh, when uh, the Greek uh, hog uh, or uh, any good club was out. Always 
It's a taverna. That's the beauty of it. It's like, you know, in the States, you go for a barbecue or something. In the States, we just go for a barbecue. Just the, you know, the Greek tavern, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's different. So we are on, uh, I think, November 7. Uh, temperature, it's got to be around uh, 23 to 25 Celsius. Uh, it will drop in the night, probably around 15, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be home about that. Here we start the turns. So I'm gonna let the GoPro running so you guys can see, you know, this beautiful forest. And it's a little bit windy. Not a little bit, it's, it's a lot of windy. I can see some clouds on the top of the mountains ahead. Um, I saw a little bit of rain on the, on the east part of the island. But uh, nothing really to worry about it. It's, it's kind of like, like far away from here. So this is the kind of ride we're going to go all the way to the north of the island and uh, we're going to take the ferry and go to the mainland and from the mainland we're going to go into the country a little bit more and then uh, take the highway and go home. So it's a loop. Good. Beautiful country. You're probably going to see it from the other GoPro. Temperature is dropping here. I can feel it. It's got to be. Now we're into the forest. It's got to be below 20. In Greece, you have a lot of uh, temperature changes. And what changing, sorry. And weather. It's a good ride. So this is the first long trip after we restore we, we restore this bike and uh, I started on December the year before just before Christmas to to restore my old mirrors. Everything started from that episode. You should go see it. Episode 1 from 40. That's another tavern we used to come here. Yeah. So, everything started on episode 1 when I tried to, you know, for Christmas, to try to restore my mirrors. I have the Illuminator Edition mirrors. I got, the, I got it back in 1995. Yes, you hear the, the gear, right? And I have them on the bike since a year ago. Uh, but there was like no way to restore them, and I uh, just got the new ones. This one, these are Kerigeki. They're fine, brand new. 
I have to get used to it. Then I bring the object very close. So this is what started. Everything started that 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 uh, winter, just before Christmas, uh, December 2020, episode one. And then I start taking things apart. You know, I order caskets, I fix the carburetors, I fix and put the engine apart. Check everything. I clean up the pistons. I uh, clean up the carbon. I took my time and. Uh, I clean up the chromes, I chrome you know, the parts, like uh, a lot of parts I chrome, but you watch the episodes. Uh, so my mufflers, they are python. My mufflers are like about 25 years old, 20, no, 28 years old. And I chrome them, they look brand new again. I didn't want to change them. There was no rust on them. Just, there is some kind of like, you know, it didn't look, it didn't look, uh, the chrome didn't look good. So, <laughs> um, everything looks new on the bike. It's like the bike reminds me of when I first got this bike. Uh, I mean, if you want to see the restoration, you have time in the winter. Just go play with the episodes. The four of them. And this is the first, the first long ride we're taking the bike out. And everything uh, works good up to now. Uh, the windshield needs to be secured a little more. It's coming in a little bit from the you know wind on the highway on about 70 75 miles per hour so this reminds me back in uh, was like 94 I think 95 something like that <laughs> it's been a lot of years kind of but I got the bike I got the bike uh, with thousand miles Believe it or not, the guy didn't even break the engine. A thousand miles was a guy, uh, the guy was in New Jersey, 76 years old. Uh, his name was John. And the phone, uh, uh, on the internet, I found uh, an ad. The, the bike looked, looked free. Uh, no, gray, sorry. You know, you, you imagine the, the internet pictures about that time. Because the, the quality is suck. I used to have a 28 point something eight modem. Okay. I wait like uh, 20 minutes to see one picture. So I found this ad. Uh, by the time I have a sports at 1200. So I found this ad. And uh, I called him up, he goes like, oh, the, the bike is with a thousand miles on it. And uh, I'm like, okay, I come to see it. I went there Wednesday, I remember the date. And uh, just in case I got a thousand bucks with me, if I like the bike to give him a deposit. Uh, and I took the truck and uh, went to New Jersey. When I, when I saw this bike, I fell in love with that bike. That was the first time in my life I never negotiated for it. I just gave him the... I, he, he goes like, you want to take it for a ride? I took it for a ride. I'm like, I knew this bike would be mine. Uh, and, uh, you know, after I came back, we went to his house and I, I gave him a thousand bucks. And I told him I come to pick up on the weekend to take the train. But that was Wednesday. I couldn't sleep at night. Uh, I called him in the morning. I went to the bank in the morning. I took the money out. And uh, I called him up. I'm like, you're going to be home? Yes, I'm going to be home. I'm coming now with the train. Can you pick me up from the train station? Yes, I'm going to pick me up from the train station. And uh, I'm telling you, I couldn't sleep. I probably just slept three hours from and uh, he was waiting for me in the station, I remember, with a convertible, a Mercedes, an old one, from the 60s probably, very nice car, and he picked me up, and uh, we went to his house, I gave him the money, his son, 
the registration, and uh, I took the bike. I have a half, half helmet. In the stage we used to ride with half helmet and goggles. And uh, I was the happiest person in the world. I started the bike home, I started cleaning it up, and the bike was new. Really. So I was uh, the, the happiest the happiest guy in the world, I remember. But, so, you know, we've been together for a long time. I tried to set the bike many times. I just couldn't. But I can see her going old. And, you know, I start fixing this and I start fixing that. And, you know, I never like it much that I'm fixing this and that. So I'm like, thank God I got the time. Because I enjoy it, believe me. And I started uh, restoring the bike last year. It took me seven months. I took my time, you know. Maybe I work, uh, you know, a couple of days a week or something. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Going through that, I feel good about it. Because the bike now, it's, it's like new. Maybe, you know, I still have a couple of problems with stuff, but it's minor. It's not leaking anymore, and uh, it's, she feels really good, I can tell you that. And, and I tell you, it's of course, all the oils, the grease, the bar, this, and it's a lot of work. I mean, I can't really tell you how much work is, but it's a lot of work. And it's getting cold here. The temperature is definitely around 15. 16 here, I feel it in my hands. And, uh, this is the first long, long, long ride because this is going to be around, uh, uh, I estimate about, uh, you know, 300 miles from till that we get home. How beautiful this forest is. It's amazing. Unfortunately, they have burned half of it. I don't even know why. It's not enough to give up people in the world. So, you know, up to now, uh, I feel really good. I feel great. And Rose, she loves this bike. She doesn't, she doesn't want to sell it. Uh, I, feel, I feel really great right now. Uh, in the morning, we get a little bit uh, on, uh, you know, Nike part, which is, you know, not playing, but it's not there. Uh, we got a little bit on the road, we can play a little more. Uh, you know, we get a little bit each other, but I mean, you know, it happens. We love each other. But, you know, sometimes uh, you get upset for little things. It's stupid, I know, but it happens. And then we got, we give a hug each other and uh, get a couple of kisses and we relax. We realize how stupid we are. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. With what stupid things people can fight. And, uh, you know, me and her, we don't really fight for anything important. That's, that's the problem. We fight for, like, nothing. It's stupid. But we, thank God, we don't fight, we don't fight often. And, 
Um, after we got on the road, we kind of like, uh, I feel totally relaxed right now, I can tell you that. When I ride the bike on the mountain like that, I feel amazing, I feel great. And I'm sure she feels the same. Uh, it's a different kind of riding, you know. We, it's not the Pimer, if you want to see the Pimer, go back to the other videos, yes, we have to do it too. But it's not, it's not the same ride. It's, the Harley is different. The Beamer is more aggressive riding. You want to go there, you want to do that, you want to, you want to see places. Uh, it's, it's different riding. The, the position of your body, it's straight up. Okay, on a Harley you kind of relax, you lay back, your foot up forward. That, that's the kind of feeling that you take it or you leave it. Some people think they, they just can't take it, they buy a heart and they, they sell it. They don't understand. The, 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 the body just then doesn't, doesn't understand the position of a heart. Plus the vibration. Uh, when I first bought this bike, okay, my butt was getting numb for six months, including my hands. This is real Harley. Okay, when I say real Harley, is the engine is more than one to the frame, no rubber. Think about it. Most of the bikes you see here, they have rubber uh, mounts. Okay, it's not the same. This, you ride the Harley. That, that's the reason, that's another reason I don't want to sell the bike, get a new one. And if I get another bike, I'm probably going to get an electron light. Apple I can. Because Apple is simple. I can fix things as well. We are have a problem. We have a little rain on the front. Unfortunately, I don't have my rain gear. So we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, the worst scenario, I'm going to turn back. I'm not going to ride in uh, uh, wet in the rain. I don't like it. enough rain in, uh, in Italy. Yes, we got rain up in the Alps, but we have our uh, uh, rainproof suits on. And it didn't really bother us at all. I think that's uh, episode uh, uh, three or four on uh, Greece to Italy adventure tour. You should go watch it, it's a lot of fun. Yes, we have already 20 episodes, that's 20 hours almost, on YouTube. We started, uh, uh, we took the ship from Patra, that's South Greece, and we went to Venice. Yeah, we slept on the ship, but we went to Venice, all the way north. And uh, we start from Venice, the first day we went to Venice. We took uh, a taxi, a speedboat, to see Venice, because otherwise you're going to walk there all day long. It was like 38 degrees heat wave. Didn't like it. So we saw Venice, we went there, we went with the boat and we came back with the boat. Yes, it's on YouTube, if you want to see it. It's a lot of fun. Then we went to Lake Garda. Ah, ah. We spent two days there. Amazing. If you go to Italy, definitely go to Lake Garda. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And then go to the west side of the lake. West side. And go to Tremontine. Remember the name. It's on YouTube, yes, if you want to see the right. Uh, 
And if it's strata de la Porta open, definitely do it. It's the most amazing ride in the world through the caves. Unfortunately, it was closed for us, but we went on the other side. We went on the top of the mountain, the Tramontin. So we enjoy it. And um, then uh, from Lake Garda, we, went, uh, we start going north to the Alps. That's where the adventure began. And uh, we hit rain on the, the first uh, ride north. But, uh, you know, we stopped, we put our rain gear on. Now, no problem at all, no problem. And we find a nice uh, Italian house to spend the night. The next day, we went more north into the Alps. And we come a beautiful camping, wild, really wild. Unfortunately, it was like a thunderstorm came in like three o'clock. And uh, I have to get up to tie the tent again. And uh, somehow we got dry, but it was really cold in the night. That was the only really, really, really time where we, we, we got a little bit cold. But, uh, you know, we survived. It's okay. And uh, the day after, we went uh, to the Dolomites. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you about the Dolomites. It's, if you, once in your life, you have to, you have to ride that. Once in your, in your life, you have to ride Greece and Italy. Don't miss that. Uh, don't take me wrong, I've been all over the States. Back in 95, uh, we went from New York to California, from the north, and uh, back from the south, a month and a half. So, just to let you know who you, who you listen to. I've been all that, but it, Europe is different. Uh, if you don't see Greece and Italy in Europe, you haven't seen nothing. You haven't seen nothing. And uh, we went, we kind of worried a little bit because we went to Italy in August when all the Italians, they take vacation. It's really hard to find uh, hotels and camping spots and stuff like that, but we did. It was a great adventure. We made it. So from the Dolomites, we went to Genoa. Genova. Because we want to take the, uh, the coastline. Another adventure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's most of it, Everything is on YouTube that I'm telling you right now. So we, we went to the coastline, the Italian Riviera. And... Uh, Uh, we went all the way down to Pisa, the Leaning Tower, Pisa. <laughs> so we got into the P Leaning Tower town and we got lost a little bit. So we saw the whole the, the old town with a bike, yes, with a beamer. Beautiful. So after that. We went more south because uh, we wanted to see Amalfi. So we went to Pompeii. Oh, we went to Volterra, forget it. I mean, I forgot the most, the most beautiful village in Italy. Volterra, remember the name if you go to Italy. Uh, we found a hotel in Volterra. It's on YouTube, yes, if you want to go and enjoy it. You can see the right inside the village. It's a medieval village. Everything is old. It's an old castle. And you stay inside the castle walls. So, forget it. You have to see Volterra. If, you, if you're going around Italy, it's one of the villages you have to see. Same like in Greece. You have to see Monevas Monevasia in South Greece. It's inside the castle again. It's a medieval village. So we spent an amazing night there. We have a beautiful breakfast. And uh, we went through the village with the bike. That was a regular road. It takes you through the village. I love that. Go see it. Then from that, oh, 
then from that uh, we went to I hope the YouTube is recording really because I have a little problems at the moment with that thing and I hope the mic is still uh, operating anyway so from uh, from that we went more south but we went through Tuscany Tuscany is beautiful it's gorgeous again it's on YouTube and then uh, we went all the way down to Pompeii. Yes. You know what's going on in Pompeii. We passed Vesuvius, volcano. And if you want to see it, you can just go on YouTube again. And then Pompeii, we went to Amalfi. Amalfi. <laughs> I thought Amalfi was like a soft ride. It's not a soft ride. If you go to Amalfi, make sure you have a day off. It's not a short ride and it's not an easy ride because it's traffic and the street is narrow. The, the street is not level. It's leaning like that. So it's not easy with a high bike like our beamer to step on the side and we look at you and everything. Uh, so we stop as much as we can to whatever we put. Um, and there at, I removed the, the, the windshield because it got cracked from the beamer away and um, the Amalfi is three episodes if you want to see it you know where I'm not going to say it again okay and uh, Amalfi it's amazing the mountain it's I think the most beautiful coastline and believe me I'm Greek okay I have amazing coastlines here amazing Amalfi is something different. I think it's the best coastline in the world. And I'm not gonna say, you know where I'm coming from. All right? It's amazing. Imagine you're on a cliff, a thousand feet high sometimes. And you're cruising like the ocean. You feel like you're flying. And don't go with the car. You're not gonna see nothing because there's a wall on the right. Go with a motorcycle. You have to go with a motorcycle because otherwise uh, you're not going to see nothing. So... It's amazing. And uh, I hope I have time to finish the story. Because it's getting weird here. So, and then after a month, we found the farmhouse. Mario and Christina. Ah, ah thanks God, guys. Thank, thank God. This is a nice spring here on the left. Over here. It's a little waterfall. So, we were there for three days to relax after that, because we've been on the road for like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine days. One day long. So there is a river on the right. Deer. Oh, wild goats on the right, right there. Check it out. Check them out. Beautiful. Look at that. We're going through uh, on the we're going on the side of a river right now. <coughs> Look at this beautiful uh, area. Mario have made the most amazing red wine, smooth red wine I have ever drank in my life. Hungry, hungry, thank God, thank you, buddy. So, very nice guy, very nice couple. <laughs> and we stay in the house uh, uh, on uh, of the restaurant, so we have dinner. <laughs> we have our dinner in the restaurant, uh, we have our dinner and our sleep ready. So, from there, we explore the area and we went to, to uh, Grotta di Angelo. San Angelo, the Archangel Cave, they call it. And um, you have to see it. There is two caves in the world that you it's, it's once in a lifetime to see. That's Grotta di Angelo. Yes, so it's on YouTube. That's the last episode I uploaded yesterday. Okay. And the uh, Rose Cave. D. D I R O S Cave in Greece, South Greece. These two caves, you go with a boat inside, okay? And you have to see them, they're very beautiful. 
Actually, the, uh, the Grotta di Angelo is the cave that they saw the uh, Phantom of the Opera back in uh, 98, the movie, all right? And uh, it's a decent, uh, it, it, it's a very good video. Quality is pretty good. And I uploaded this uh, two days ago. Look how beautiful this is. It's gorgeous. I love this island. You know, half of the, unfortunately, half of the forest is got burned out, but. Uh, Thank God, no, we don't have any deaths this time. You know, the forest is going to start growing up after five years. People, they don't. They dig us on the ground and we stay there. That's it. Maybe we, we come back on a different form. I don't know. Definitely we'll go somewhere. Nature doesn't waste anything in the universe. But uh, one thing for sure is, if we come back, we're not, we're not going to have too much memories. But we have instincts. Instinct. No, I philosophize, I know, but I'm Greek. And uh, instincts make us remember who we were before on our previous life. Yes, I believe in recognition. And I'm Christian. Nothing wrong with that. You can believe whatever you want. It's a free world. Uh, so, you know, I kind of like uh, think we come back as people, except if you're bad and evil, you go on the dark side. I'm sure of that because I have, uh, you know, I see where we're going. I'm not going to tell you because I have a major heart attack in 2017 and I survived again because Rose was home. And, uh, I can tell you, good people go to the light side and bad people go to the dark side. So we make sure we are staying on light. It's not very a lot of fun on the dark side. <laughs> yes, I philosophize, I know. Why not? It's good too. It's good too. If you don't like my philosophy, just stop and move on to the next. Uh, Somebody else, you know. Uh, YouTube is for uh, what I call it the the motorcycle uh, uh, highway. The motorcycle information highway. Sorry, I got distracted from the wild goods on the right. I hope you see them. They're very smart animals. Hard to see one in the middle of the room, so you can hit it. It's not like the deers in the States. I've hit one. Two o'clock in the morning, up in the caskets. I believe it's not fun. I was with uh, my Buick. I have a Buick station wagon. Beautiful car. But I was a young kid, you know, I was like back in the 91, 92, I don't know, 90. I can't even remember. I have a Buick. Oh, we slept in the Buick. We come everywhere. Yes, it was like the, the, the rear was like a, a bed, you know? So, have a lot of fun with that car. This is the time when I start flying hang gliders. The car was so long that I just dropped the glider off. <coughs> And it didn't even, it didn't even uh, see outside of the car, it's like the right side. So, the right side. So we'll go through uh, the valley right now, after the mountain. The rain goes into the west right now, so up to now we're getting, you know, we're getting lucky. And I knew it. I'm with my rain and I forgot the rain. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And the first time here on this bike, I have a really decent heart pace. This one's it's Hepco and Becker. <coughs> Excuse me, Hepco and Becker. I, 
I, I put these ones because I can put stuff on. And uh, if you want to see how I modify them, it's on YouTube, yes, of course. So... Look at the river. We come here in the winter, this thing is full. Uh, we come here with a truck, with our four-wheel drive. And play with the crown, our, uh, our dog. So, you know... When I first got the bike, see, I put the, I ordered from eBay. Back in the late nights when eBay was like, you know what, but, but very busy. Uh, the bags that made for this bad boy, and uh, they still sell them as collectible. I sold them three, four years ago. But in these bags, you can put nothing. Even my jacket will be in there. <coughs> well, this jacket can fit really anywhere. This is the original uh, FX uh, R uh, jacket. I wait six months for that back in the night this, to come. Yes, I have it for like almost 30 years. So. So, oh, why are we stopping? Let's see. Okay, so basically, uh, I put the hard bags, I, put, I found these bags. I have settler bags before. You can see my old videos. Uh, the settler bags are good, but you can put nothing on them because they lean on the side like that. It was like not very good quality, really. And because they lean like that, you can't really put a bag on it. This one, I put them so I can put two, two bags on the top. Sorry about that. I have to stop these cars. These people have no respect. <coughs> so this is uh, a local village. They, uh, this is village famous for meat. If you like meat, <laughs> I can smell it already. It's um, meal. So. Um, this village also is, uh, look how everybody's out. What happened to the rain? This village also is very famous for the church. St. John Church. It's supposed to, uh, this church they are famous for a lot of miracles, believe it or not, but uh, it is. Yes, this is kind of like believe it or not, believe it. It's a free choice. So, you know, it's a little busy here. I don't know why. All right, I'm going to turn off this GoPro so I can put it on the road again.